What's up guys, Metrics Mike here. I still get a lot of questions about how to go about building a sports betting model. And I found a really good example here. It's from the, the book Statistical Sports Models in Excel. And the example was applied to, I believe it was Aussie Rules Football. But I've gone ahead and added the NFL game data from the 2019 and the 2020 season. And in this video, I'll go through the formulas used in the model. And also at the end of the video, give you a chance to download this file for yourself so you can get started building your own sports betting model. So let's get started. This first example is what's called a pairwise comparison model. And essentially what it does is based on the game outcomes we've seen, what team ratings would maximize the probability of producing these results. All right, so keep that in mind and you'll see how that comes into play later on. Jumping into this, you can see the first five or so columns. Date is easy date. Away team, away points, how much they actually scored. Home team, how many points they scored. The game total, which is, of course, just uh, away plus home. And then home margin of victory, which is home minus away. Next, we'll go ahead and scroll to the right of this document. And you can see the placeholder here for the team strength ratings. And what we're going to do is use the logistic function that we set up here in a moment to use the solver function in Excel to rate each team according to the results that we have in the data set. So let's get started building the logistic function formula. All right, here is the formula for the logistic function. This tells the model how to use the ratings and essentially how we'd like the results to be optimized. So to go through this formula, EXP is the exponent command in Excel. HFA, home field advantage, of course. HT is home team rating and minus the away team, AT. So effectively, this just gives us a strength differential right here between home team and the away team adjusted for home field advantage. Jumping back into Excel, the formula looks a little more intimidating when we look at the Excel version, but that's only because we're using a VLOOKUP here and a, and a range to find the home team and away team rating. But you can see Y2 is still over here, the home field advantage, and we'll get into how to calculate that here in a moment. And then the second part of the formula, which is the home team minus away team, the home team here, which is just saying grab this Chicago Bears matchup VLOOKUP in this table here and find their logistic strength rating, which we'll adjust those here in a moment as well. And then minus, same thing, VLOOKUP, the team in B, column B, Green Bay Packers with their logistic strength rating. So that's the formula there. Next step is to create this column I, which is the game result. If the home team wins, this will be one. And if the home team loses, this will be zero. So that's simply using that home margin of victory. If it's greater than zero, then it's a win. If it's less than zero, it's a loss. And then the result function, which if the home team wins, that is the same as the logistic function. But if the home team loses, as in this example, it is one minus the logistic function. All right, the next step is to calculate the probability product of the entire range of the game results column. So you can see that formula in column L in the cell L2 here. A very simple formula, product of that entire range of J. And then the final step of the setup is to convert this probability product into a log likelihood. And you can see the formula here in cell M2. All right, now we get to the fun stuff. So we'll be using the solver function to optimize the team rating. So to do that, we go to the data tab and click on solver. You may need to install solver, but you can Google that. Uh, click on solver. A set objective is going to be this M2, the log likelihood, set to max by changing the variable cells V2 to V33, which is the team ratings, and then Y2, which is the home field advantage. I'll show you that over here. So Y2, home field advantage, V20, uh, sorry, V2, starting right here, down through V33, which is all teams in the NFL. So basically, we're asking Solver to maximize the log likelihood by adjusting the team ratings and the home field advantage. You can click on solve here and it will go to work optimizing the ratings. 
And there we have it. Wow. That's my favorite part of this process, seeing that whole table get populated like that. The next step is to find a way to map these team ratings to the outcomes. So who's going to actually win the game and by how much. So we have a couple of ways that we can do that. Linear regression is one of the better ways. So we're going to set up the home margin of victory as the variable that we want to predict. And we're going to use this logistic function as our independent variable x. So to set that up here in Excel, click on the data tab if you're not still already on there. Data analysis and then find regression. Y range, we want to be this home margin of victory. X range, we want to be this logistic function. And I'm gonna change this ending row to 257 to represent the right sample of the data that we're testing here. Labels has the top label for each of those columns. Yes, put this in a new worksheet. And we want this line fit plot. So here we have our regression line. Adjusted R square 0.299, p-value looks good, and standard error 12.4. So let's go ahead and use this information now to project some scores. So the particular information that we want from this are the standard error and the intercept and logistic function coefficients and we're going to go ahead and copy that information standard error here in the model error category and then intercept and logistic function coefficients grab those numbers copy those paste those into that space for them on this document as well now we're ready to, to project an actual game. So you can see here we have Bengals versus Colts. And to quickly go over the high level, and then we'll dig into the details here, we're going to use the same logistic function formula to create an estimated spread based on the regression that we just ran. And then we're going to use that estimated margin of victory, estimated spread, to get the estimated win percentage for each team straight up. So let's go ahead, I'll show you this logistic function. It's the same formula you've seen before, which is just the home field advantage and then home team minus away team strength ratings. And we're gonna use that to get the estimated spread now. So we'll take that intercept from the linear regression formula and add that to the logistic function times the logistic function coefficient. And that will give us the estimated spread for that game. And then final step, to convert that into a straight up win percentage, we're gonna use this formula here using a normal distribution. If we wanna see the estimated win percentage using a spread, we can enter that information in here. This would mean Cincinnati is plus 10 points. You just have to enter it with the negative. So let's say they're getting 14 points and Indy is uh, minus 14. We would, in this particular matchup, give Cincinnati a 62% chance of covering the 14 points there. And you can, you can change that spread to whatever you want. Final step, if you want to calculate the fair odds of this win percentage, you can with the formula here, one divided by the estimated win percentage for both teams. And then you can input the odds at the sports book in decimal format. And you can find an easy conversions online for that. So let's say you're getting 1.85 on Cincinnati uh, using Kelly criterion. You can see the formula here uh, would suggest it's a 19.13% edge giving you expected value of 16.26. And there it is. We've created a model. We've optimized the parameters, and we've forecasted a future game, both uh, point spread and estimated straight-up win percentage. So will this be enough to beat the market going forward? I would say as a standalone prediction model, probably not. It's unlikely, but it is a good starting point to get you started um, thinking about how to build some of these models yourself. And as you add in your further analysis and insights into this process, uh, you might have a good shot. So if you want access to some of my most advanced models and dashboards for the NFL, you can find them over at chaosventure.com.